There are a lot of electric bikes to choose from, but which are the best? And better yet, which is the best electric bike for you? I'm Sam Gross, and this is Griffin Hales. We are two of Electric Bike Report's lead product testers and electric bike reviewers. And today we're gonna to be walking you through the best e-bikes of 2022 as chosen by Electric Bike Report. So let's get into it. So for starters, not every bike we've chosen for our 2022 best list is gonna be in this video. We have a longer version of this, it's in written form. So if you wanna know about every single bike we've chosen for the best e-bikes of 2022, be sure to click the link in the description below this video for more detailed write-up with the complete list and all of the specs on each bike. Secondly, we've done our best to stick to e-bikes that we've ridden and reviewed. There are some exceptions for bikes that we're including on merit alone in that longer written version of our best list. But in this video, you're gonna be only seeing and hearing about e-bikes that we have personally had our hands on. Third, this list is skewed a little bit more on the affordable side of e-bikes. The reason for that is that Electric Bike Report's audience has traditionally been predominantly first-time e-bike buyers. So we did our best to choose bikes that we think are gonna appeal the most to that crowd. But if you are looking for a little bit more of a premium option or you're on your second or your third e-bike and you've already got the bug and you want something nice, there are some bikes on this list that are gonna fit that fancy. And not only that, but since today is our best overall list video, you're going to see a huge mix of different styles. We're gonna have some fat tire e-bikes, we'll have some folding ones, some cruisers. You're gonna get all sorts of different options here. If you are looking for maybe more options in one specific category, if you're looking for best folding bikes, we're gonna have subsequent videos coming out where we will dive into more details about our pick for best category bike. So make sure you hit that subscription button down below to stick with the channel, and you'll be updated on those as soon as they come out, which will be coming out here in the following weeks. But enough about methodology, let's talk about the bikes. Electric Bike Report's pick for the best electric fat bike of 2022 is the Aventon Aventure. Now this bike was released in mid-2021 and it was Aventon's first stab at an electric fat bike. And boy, did they do a good job on their first try. It's powered by a 750 watt Bafung rear hub motor, a 672 watt hour battery that's fully integrated into the frame, an eight speed drivetrain and hydraulic disc brakes. They've done a stellar job with this bike. It's been a high performer in all of the testing that we've put it through. And really one of the big highlights for me is how it handles. A lot of electric, especially affordable electric fat bikes, present this image of off-road capability. And the Event and Adventure is probably one of the better performers in that category. It's got very good handling that handles more technical and more complex off-road terrain better than some of its competitors. I also just really love how it looks. It looks spectacularly good. It's probably my favorite looking electric fat bike that we've reviewed so far. Yeah, it's got great looks. I like the color options that it comes in, the green pictured here. We've also tried the sandstone. We've got a red one as well. All of them really good looking bikes. For us, 2021 was largely the year of the fat bike. We really saw them take off in popularity, like here locally around town, and of course, like through the internet. For me personally, with electric fat bikes, I think part of their popularity is it feels a lot like that feeling you get of riding in a pickup truck versus what you get riding in like a sedan. It's just bigger, it's more powerful, it's got good capability and utility, and Aventon really brought that into the bike space on the Event and Adventure uh, fat bike. And overall, it was just really well done bike, really impressed with it. And yeah, it's every bit worthy of being the best fat bike of 2022. Electric Bike Report's pick for the best step-through e-bike of 2022 is the Blix Aveni Skyline. Now, while this may not be the lowest step-through e-bike on the market, it still is plenty low and easy to get on and off of. And one thing it really has going for it is the fact that it has retained its top tube. The top tube is much lower than a traditional diamond frame, but it's still there. And what that does is it helps keep the bike stiff. Step-through frames are traditionally known for being a little bit wallowy. They have a lot of flex, mainly because it's just missing a part of the frame. This is not. This has that top tube still, and it helps the bike ride really, really nicely. 
One thing that is another huge standout about the Blix of Any Skyline is its paint job. It's like the type of paint job you'd expect on a classic car. It's laid on thick, it's glossy, and it's done with a lot of attention to detail. It's just something you don't see very often on affordable e-bikes. Those things are really what makes this a standout step through e-bike for me. Well, something that really jumps out for me is it just, it's very simple and it excels at being a bike not just an electric bike. Uh, you can ride it without the motor and it rides very well, very comfortably. Um, again, I use the word simple, but there's two different types of simple. They're simple due to lack of imagination and they're simple by design. And this one is definitely the latter. It's simple by design, but it's, it's really good. Blix is a company who they really seem to uh, skew themselves towards making something that is uh, easily accessible because all of their bike models kind of have this step through design. So they really thought it through and have made it easy for so many people to jump on and ride. And since it does ride so well, it's just constantly inviting you to jump back on it and go for more rides. So absolutely a great pick for the best step through e-bike for 2022. Electric Bike Report's choice for the best electric commuter bike of 2022 is actually two bikes. We're splitting this category into the Class 2 commuters and the Class 3 commuters. So starting with the best Class 2 electric commuter of 2022, we've chosen the Rad Power Bikes Rad City 5 Plus. And the reason is because this is one of Rad's newest generation of e-bikes. It was just released at the end of 2021, and they've done just such a great job with the redesign. Not only does the bike look better. They've redone that 750 watt rear hub motor and they've retooled the 672 watt hour battery. It's now semi integrated into the frame which looks nicer. They've also given hydraulic disc brakes over the old mechanical brakes and it's got a seven speed drivetrain. But perhaps my favorite part about this bike is just how much thought they've put into how the bike can be used as a commuter. They've got a really wonderfully integrated rear rack that has a high weight capacity and the eyelet to already go and attach with a child seat. So if you need to take your kid to the daycare on your way to work, if you need to carry bags and racks to go to the grocery on your way home, it is just a really well done and well thought out e-bike. For me, almost any of Rad's bikes, I keep coming back to two words that jump out in my mind, and that is smooth and consistent. Anytime you hop on the back of this bike, it's just such a dependable ride quality, and that it does enable you to do all those things that you were talking about, whether you're loading up on some cargo or you're bringing your kids along. I do like how it's constructed. It's really good design, and I do have a lot of confidence in this rack, putting a child seat on there and taking my son around with me. Just overall great. So every bit deserving of the best class two commuter for 2022. So on to our pick for the best class three electric commuter of 2022. And we've chosen a little bit of a sleeper bike in the Ride One Up 700 series. Now the Ride One Up is a class three electric commuter that's powered by a 750 watt rear hub motor and a 672 watt hour battery that's fully integrated into the frame. A couple of highlights about this bike are it's just fast. It's really fun to ride. They've done a great job of specking it with all the commuter accoutrements you'd want a nice rear rack that's got a high carrying capacity, front and rear lights. You also get a seven speed drivetrain, hydraulic disc brakes, and just a really nicely designed bike for not a ton of money. It's honestly a really, really fun electric commuter. Yeah, and kind of like you were saying, it really is kind of like a full package commuter, which is something I like. It does handle pretty well at those higher speeds that it's capable of, which is why we put it on here for the best class three commuter. But something that I love, and I know a lot of other people are gonna love, is while it can check every box for your commuter wish list, it does a really good job at getting it, getting you that total package for a couple hundred dollars less than some of the other like competitors out there. So all in all, really solid bike, really great value, and one that I think a lot of people are gonna like. Electric Bike Report's choice for the best electric folding bike of 2022 is the ultra affordable and freshly redesigned Electric XP 2.0. Now this bike is powered by a 500 watt rear hub motor, a 48 volt 9.6 amp hour battery that's internally integrated into the frame, mechanical disc brakes, and a seven speed drivetrain. And it just represents this level of affordability and value 
and fun that we don't often see in electric bikes. We really enjoy this thing. It's the type of bike that we can totally see someone folding up, putting in the back of their car, putting in the back of their truck, or even stashing under the floorboards of an RV and taking on an adventure. That's really what this bike has been designed for. And obviously there are far more complex, far more expensive, folding electric bikes on the market that I'm sure we're going to get some hate on in the comments for not including in this video. But this one just represents what our US-based audience really is looking for in an electric folding bike. It's just fun, it's cheap, it's something to get your foot into the door with e-bikes with, and for that, we really like it. And like you said, we're not at all ignorant to the Go Cycles or Bromptons of the world who are doing really amazing things with folding bikes. But again, for us, this one just, it, it has so much going for it. We've seen it be popular with the RV crowd, we've seen it be popular with college kids. Really, there's something about this bike that people just find in it and they love about it, and it's so easy to recommend this as our best folding bike of 2022. Electric Bike Report's pick for the best all-terrain electric bike of 2022 is the Quiet Cat Jeep. Now this bike is arguably the king of a relatively new and very much unofficial category of e-bike that was birthed out of electric hunting bikes. And these bikes were built to take hunters and sportsmen deep into the backcountry quietly and without scaring off the animals that they're trying to hunt. But those companies that were making those styles of e-bikes quickly realized that there was an appetite for e-bikes that are just capable of going places that few others can comfortably go. And that's where this bike came from. The Quiet Cat Jeep is a full suspension electric fat bike. It's powered by the incredibly powerful 1000 watt Bafung Ultra mid-drive motor. This one is the 1000 watt version. You can also get it in a street legal 750 watt version. It's also got a 672 watt hour battery that's internally integrated into the frame. And then a lot of the componentry on this bike was borrowed from electric mountain bikes. It's a very stout and stable and capable e-bike and very technical and adversarial terrain. One of the big highlights for me is this inverted front fork, which was chosen specifically to stiffen up the front end. Electric fat bikes have quite a lot of rotational mass in that front tire that they have to contend with when they're trying to change directions, and that inverted front fork helps things keep stiff. It's a very nimble handling e-bike, it's a very good handling e-bike, and it's just wicked fun on 4x4 roads and really on terrain that I wouldn't take many other types of electric electric bikes. This is just a really fun e-bike. I remember when I first heard about the Jeep e-bike, I was a little bit skeptical personally. Uh, it wouldn't be the first time in history that an established company tried to slap their branding on some new popular product in hopes to make it sell, but that was not the case at all with uh, this Jeep and Quiet Cat partnership. Jeep really sought out a company that would be able to kind of keep its pristine uh, reputation of being like the rock crawler, the off-roader uh, that Jeep is really known for. And like here where we're located in southern Utah, people come from all over the world to hit some of the rock crawling trails that we have down here in their Jeeps. And this bike really does represent the brand well because it does take that same spirit but puts it on two wheels instead of four. And it's just so much fun to get out into the desert and just hit those trails, like you said, that no other bike could really handle. So absolutely a fantastic bike. On to Electric Bike Report's choice for the best electric cruiser bike of 2022, and we have chosen the Electric Bike Company Model S. And we've chosen it for several reasons, but we're gonna start with its comfort. It is a wonderfully comfortable cruiser bike. It's very big, it's very long, it's the Cadillac of cruisers. Uh, we also love how purely customizable it is. Electric Bike Company is a American-based company. They're based in California. And while they buy a lot of their componentries from overseas, they assemble everything at their shop in California. And what that allows them to do is you can choose almost everything on this e-bike from the color to whether it has a basket to the size of the battery to the drivetrain and the fork, everything is your choice when you're customizing your bike. This specific model runs off of a 500 watt rear hub motor. It's got an 864 watt hour battery, which is huge and gives this bike an exceptional range. We chose a single speed drivetrain, but you can also get it in seven speed if you want. And then we also added a suspension fork with this bike coming with a rigid fork stock. It is just so cool how much customization you can do to the electric bike company Model S. And this bike, it rides like a leisure bike with how much comfort there is in it 
but it's also got a lot of utility with the basket like you mentioned before the uh, the rack system back here has this mik paneer bags and just we can't overstate enough how great it is to have so much customization a lot of uh, direct to consumer companies are a little bit limited in what they're able to offer you so they give you some good choices of colors up front but to be able to like even pick your own color or whether or not you want wood fenders is just so much fun to see on a bike and it kind of made it just a no-brainer of a choice for us for best electric cruiser bike of 2022. Electric Bike Report's pick for the best electric utility bike of 2022 is the Rad Power Bikes Rad Runner Plus. Now this bike is built around a 750 watt rear hub motor and a 672 watt hour battery. It's got mechanical disc brakes and a seven speed drivetrain. But really what we love about this bike and why it's earned a spot on this list is because it's just the jack of all trades of e-bikes. It is built in kind of the style of the ever popular moped style e-bikes but literally the back half of the bike is dedicated to a utilitarian purpose underneath the buddy seat on this bike which we love about the plus model of this bike it comes with a buddy seat and foot pegs Underneath that is a frame integrated rear rack that can carry quite a lot of weight. You can bolt different racks and baskets and trays under there. So whether you wanna take your kids to the daycare or you wanna go and get groceries on your way home from work or you just wanna take a friend on a ride with you, this is the bike that's gonna be able to do it all. For us, it's kind of a, if I know nothing about you but you want a recommendation of an e-bike, I'm probably gonna have the Rad Runner somewhere on my short list just because it appeals to so many different people for so many different reasons and there's enough performance here that it should be able to satisfy everybody. So whether or not you're looking for like a bike for your 13 year old or whether you're recently retired and just looking to get out and ride around, you can actually take a look at the Rad Runner and we think you're gonna find something here that you're gonna like. It's every bit deserving of a spot on our list of the best e-bikes of 2022. So while we have thoroughly ridden and reviewed the final two bikes on our best list, we don't actually have them here while we're filming. The reason for that is because one of them we had to send back to the manufacturer after we were done with it, and the other one we had to leave it at the trade show, which we did the review at. But without further ado, Electric Bike Report's choice for the best high-performance electric commuter of 2022 is the Specialized Turbo Vado. Now this is hands down one of my favorite electric commuter bikes that I've ever reviewed and it's from a company that has arguably invested more in the engineering and design of their e-bikes than really anybody else on the planet. Specialized has done such a wonderful job designing their motors to be so replicative of what a rider's pedaling is. It really just feels like you've got a really strong tailwind behind you, but that tailwind is pushing you up to class three speeds close to 28 miles an hour. We reviewed the Turbovato 4.0, which is the middle child of the three bike Turbovato lineup. And that bike comes with SRAM NX 11 speed drivetrain, SRAM level brakes, and just a really nice adornment of commuter specific accessories like a rear rack and front suspension. It's just a very well designed bike. And on top of that, Specialized has also made an app and a controller mechanism that allows a rider to actually update the software of the bike from home with over the air updates, which is a huge advancement, especially considering that Specialized is a company that is constantly pushing the envelope with the software that runs their e-bikes. So it was an easy pick for me for the best high performance commuter of 2022. Yeah, and that was a category that we gave a lot of thought and care to because there are so many great bikes when you get into that high performance territory. Um, I know we thought about the Diamondback Union 2, another one that you really enjoyed. The Trek Alant, almost on reputation alone, was worth putting up there. But at the end of the day, the Specialized Turbo Vado really did feel like the right choice here. It sounds almost corny when I say it out loud, but it's the epitome of being one with the bike. The way they've got that motor so finely tuned, the second you put down the slightest amount of force on the pedals, it knows and it's responding in kind. And definitely one of the most amazing bikes we've ridden and good choice for best high performance, I think. On to our final bike in this video, 
we are choosing the best city and urban e-bike of 2022. And for that, the Turn HSD has earned the top spot. And the reason is really because the Turn HSD is the Swiss army knife of e-bikes. It is designed to really do anything that you might ask of it. Turn is a very unique company in that they view e-bikes as tools and less as toys. And because of that, they've really tried hard to think about how the HSD might be used in your everyday life. It's got a really, really stout and actually very large rear rack that's rated for up to 132 pounds. That rear rack actually qualifies this bike as a what's called a short tail or a just kind of a small electric cargo bike. It also is designed to flip up on its back end and sit in a very confined space, like maybe it's a, a cramped corner of your garage or a hall closet or something like that. It's, and they've really put a lot of thought into the racking systems, the accessory systems, and they've also made the bike very adjustable in that, you know, me at 6'1", I could share the bike with my girlfriend who is 5'4". We could make very few adjustments to the bike and it would fit both of us and we could share one HSD. There's a lot of reason to like this bike. And full disclosure here, which will always give you an electric bike report, it's the only bike on this list that I haven't ridden personally, but what I can tell you just about Turn on their reputation is you don't get a bike like the HSD that's built to accommodate people four foot eleven all the way up to six foot four and haul three hundred and seventy five pounds. You don't get that by accident. You get that by engineering and like with very good attention to detail. Overall, very impressive what you're able to do on this bike and absolutely deserving of a spot on our best overall e-bikes list. Absolutely. And if you've made it through this far in the video, thank you so much for watching our list of the best electric bikes of 2022. If you want to know more about the bikes we've picked and actually see the complete list, be sure to click the link in the description below this video and also subscribe to our channel for more best videos and also more reviews of the bikes that we covered. So for Electric Bike Report, I'm Sam Gross. I'm Griffin Hales. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, 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 oh